Hello, in this I'm going to show you the American Civil War. From 1861 to 1865, America suffers through a bloody civil war with the brunt of the action centered between the capital cities of Washington and Richmond. Can you lead one of these fledgling nations to victory? Let's load it up. So in this, I'm not actually going to play through the whole entire thing. I may just take a couple turns and just show you kind of the, the feel of the American Civil War here. The scenario for Brave New World, of course. I mean, that's what I'm showcasing here. So I figured you get that much. Um, yeah, it's configuring the game data. It takes a moment. And I probably will just play on Prince or maybe King. Those are usually the difficulties I play. Just so that way it's not too easy and it's not too difficult. It's kind of just in the middle. So, uh... I'll go with Kim, I guess. So, I won't talk about the scenario description. I'll leave that up to you guys to buy the game if you haven't, or just read it on your own. So, for the victory conditions for this, will be win by capturing your opponent's capital before the time runs out, and then the special rules in this is going to be city raising and settlers are off. Only cities with the with one of these production buildings may create units. Either the arsenal, infantry, stable, cavalry, ironworks, artillery, or navy yard, naval units. Capture enemy cities to control these production centers and the manpower resource necessary for infantry units. All units of the player moving first receive just half their usual movement on the opening turn. Cities have no range strike and the only minimal defense above the combat strength of any garrison. Great generals range increase to 5 and they are displaced to nearby city rather than killed. So that is something that is very nice. We won't have to worry about our, our uh, great generals dying. And then there's two leaders, obviously Abraham Lincoln and Jefferson Davis of the Confederacy and the Union. Only military engineers and Union land units can embark on this scenario, and units automatically receive a plus 10% combat promotion. Blah 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 blah. I'm gonna play Lincoln. I'll just start this game up, and again, I'll play a couple turns. This is the first time I've played, um... April the 12th, 1861. Confederate mortars opened fire on Fort Sumter in Charleston Harbor, signaling the start of America's Civil War. President Abraham Lincoln issues a call for volunteers for 90-day enlistments, confident that the rebellion can be put down in short order. Jefferson Davis, newly elected president of the Confederate States, is equally optimistic. Davis boldly moves his government to Richmond, Virginia, just 100 miles from Washington, D.C. Can you win the swift victory both sides are predicting? Yes, I can. Sorry, I just skipped that last one, but I don't think you guys mind that much. So anyway, I have Fort Monroe here. And like I got cut off there, I just want you guys to hear that. Um, I have not played the scenario yet. Not at all. So there's something new, something completely new to me. So don't yell if I make a couple bad moves here. So, um, now let's move them up here. Let's go take out those guys. Fairfax. I'm only going to make like a turn or two just to give you a good impression of what you can expect out of this grand spanking new scenario. Cool. I like this. <laughs> Washington. That's an interesting pontoon bridge, huh? That's cool. Fairfax. Keep him defended. Going down here. And then just so everybody knows, I may or may not um that. I may or may not make a full kind of video on how to do this, because eventually I'll learn how to play this um scenario quite well. And I might put that up on uh, YouTube. So yeah. Those that aren't um, subscribed on YouTube, should definitely do it. Check that out sometime. Wow. So this is another scenario, I suppose, where, you know, you kind of set up your troops, um, to where you need them to go. But then, unfortunately, as you can see, oh, how that, take that city. Hell yeah. That was awesome. Of course, now I'm going to have to defend off these guys, but... This again is going to be another scenario where you will end up having to make your first couple of moves, take a bunch of turns, well not, make a bunch of moves on where to place your military, and then after that, you just get attacked and bombarded from the other guys' units as well. 
So it's kind of good. I kind of don't like those scenarios, to be honest. I don't like the beginning. The beginning is just so, so daunting. You have to move all these troops and everything, and you kind of don't know what's going on. I mean, for this, I know what's going on because, well, I know what happened in the Civil War, so I know what's happening here. Take out that. I died. Rifled artillery engineering construct a pontoon bitch. Oh, that's cool. Attack him. Okay, since I've done, you know, I've shown you the map here. There's Fredericksburg. Here's Apotomix, Lynchburg, Nottoway Courthouse, Petersburg. You know, all these great iconic things. Now, I will show you something different. Here, social policies of tradition, liberty, and honor. And then that seems like that's all you get. And in the science tree, let's look at this, open it up. There's only a couple, and a lot of these things are just like faster movements, combat bonuses. You don't really get much of anything new. Most newest thing you'll get is a Gatling gun. And uh, so that's all I'm going to show for the Civil War. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It looks good. I'm going to definitely play this. This looks very fun. Um, so please rate, subscribe, and comment. Those of you that are checking this out on YouTube, check out the description below, and there is a link to my Steam Guides, because this is where I do all of my stuff, is on Steam Guides. And those of you that are checking this on Steam Guides, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll love all the stuff I got, so please go do it. And uh, in the next one, I'll show you the Scramble for Africa.